Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on March 26th, 2025. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at the last 48 hours on our sun, as we did have that large plasma filament which is still spinning around in the northeast region, reaching even taller than I showed a few days ago. Looking the last 48 hours incoming, no major sunspots, solar flares, or CMEs heading our way. But we do have a couple plasma filaments. On the One on the left-hand side we're going to be keeping an, uh, an eye on. And as well, turning away those large plasma prominence swirling around in the northeast region of our sun. We are going through a coronal hole wind stream which has put us into a level 2 geomagnetic storm. Solar winds coming in over, four, over 500 kilometers per second. Having a look at multi-spectrum pointing out the two only spun, sunspot regions that are visible and as well the large coronal holes clearly visible here. Bottom left hand corner there showing the magnetic field of our sun during the coronal hole event. Solar winds at one point were 615 kilometers per second and we could see some super fast solar winds still with this gigantic coronal hole earth facing. Having a look now at the sunspot regions in motion and as I said we only have two that are earth facing and visible. Other regions have since completely disappeared. So, two sunspot regions, 4043 and 4035, and both look weak. Current space weather conditions, R1, minor radio blackout impacts, and as well, level 2, geomagnetic storm impacts. Currently, solar winds are coming in at 595 kilometers per second. Having a look at the solar winds now, left-hand side showing the speeds, right-hand side showing the pressure on our planet. Mass amounts of pressure, earthquakes are on the rise and have been over 250 earthquakes in a 24-hour period for the last few days. Especially after the 6.7 earthquake New Zealand a couple days ago, followed by another. And deep earthquakes are still rocking our planet. Having a look now, solar x-ray flux showing three strong C-class solar flares. None of them were earth-facing. Solar proton flux is low. Geomagnetic activity hopping up to a KP6 just recently as our solar winds were going over 600 kilometers per second. Space Weather Prediction Center here showing the space weather spiral, outgoing CME, and as well a minor CME heading our way. A coronal hole wind stream as well, wind velocity on the bottom diagram. Now let's have a look at our cosmic energies leaving the sun. This is showing Lasco 3, showing the last three days. As we're missing a few images, 25th coming into the 26th, about four hours of imagery. Here's a look at the Aurora forecast for tonight and tomorrow. Pretty good chance tonight all across Canada. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours. As you can see, a lot of elevated rings. Those are deep earthquakes. Most recent here, Papua New Guinea, 445 kilometer depth, 4.3. And today, 577 kilometer depth in Fiji, followed by another 530, and there was a 580 yesterday. Notable earthquake here, northern New Zealand, Noganta, 4.9 New Zealand, where the 6.7 occurred the other day. And then we've got Lots of activity all across the Pacific Northwest, right up into the Indian Plate. Notable 4.4 earthquake there, northern Japan. Alaska's hopping. Largest being a 4.1, Petersville, Alaska. Notable sulfur dioxide emissions coming out through the Aleutian Islands and through Alaska, and as well, Hawaii. 3.2 and a 3.0 there after yet another eruption 
at the Kilauea volcano. Let's start here with USGS reporting 270 earthquakes past 24 hours. That is definitely above average. Looking across the United States, notable activity, Pacific Northwest up into Washington. No major swarms to talk about. Earthquakes are very widespread right now, but notable earthquakes north and west of Yellowstone and up into the Pacific Northwest towards the Juan de Fuca. Earthquakes across Hawaii, seven of them on the island, and that was enough to get things going again. The 14th eruption at Kilauea is in, pro is in progress right now. This is showing the infrared imagery showing the last six hours, as that's about the time that it started erupting throughout the day today. Carrying on here with earthquakes, North American plate still pretty active through California. Notable earthquake here, Martinique, Lorraine Martinique, subduction zone, the Caribbean plate. Earthquakes in northern Chile and as well, South Sandwich Islands, still a very active region. It's gone quiet across the African plate, but notable activity here, mysterious. Portugal with a 4.3 earthquake in the North Atlantic. Heads up, stay aware and prepared, my friends and family. We're going through a lot right now, and our planet is under a lot of pressure from a penetrating solar wind from a gigantic coronal hole. Showing here now the last seven days for shakers and movers around the world, largest being the 6.7 earthquake that struck New Zealand and as well 6.1 earthquake that struck Alaska. Notable activity, Indian plate, pressure building up into the African plate. Going to see another eruption there maybe. Right now we have active 75 erupting volcanoes around the world. This is a look at our sulfur dioxide emissions forecast brought to you by windy.com showing pretty big plumes still all across the northern hemisphere, across the Pacific, Nishinashima, Kilauea, Mexico, and that's all flooding into North America. Overlooking Africa, Australia, Southeast Asia, still a large plume swirling along the equator from the large eruption at Luatolo about four days ago. And then overlooking Africa, South America, still some strong emissions coming out of the Congo region, notable new plumes coming out of West Africa and the North Atlantic. Now let's have a look at world weather. Some big systems coming through across North America this week, pretty dry across Europe and Africa. So we're going to focus on North America as there's multiple low pressure systems coming through. One of them is going to bring a lot of freezing rain and extreme weather all across eastern United States and Canada. Snowfall still in the forecast here right up until the first week of April. Some big systems coming through here. Convergence line, Gulf moisture coming out. Watch for a lot of extreme weather through the Gulf states, eastern seaboard of the Atlantic. Long range forecast does not look good for North America. There's a lot of rain and a lot of extreme weather. So pretty dangerous weather too this weekend coming up. Could see a lot of freezing rain. Having a look now at our wind gust models, there's there some large low pressure systems developing across the Northern Hemisphere, converging and merging across the North Atlantic. We're gonna focus again here on North America and Canada as big low pressure system grinding across the West Coast is gonna Bring days upon days and waves upon waves of some pretty cool moisture. Second into the third, a watch for a very big extreme weather event across the United States. Heads up, stay safe, my friends and family. Please share this video with your friends and family around the world as we've got some great earth changes coming up here as our planet tries to get into spring through a pretty extreme winter. We had a lot of snow and a lot of cold air. 
and it's still funneling around the northern hemisphere right now. Let's have a look at nullschool.com showing our upper level winds. This is a look at our polar vortex as it has split and it is getting ready to flip for our summer months. Just having a look here around the world, equatorial winds, look at the directions of them in the upper level winds. Something has changed dramatically on our planet. And I'll show you how and where right now. Let's go back a year. 2024, March 26th. Now watch the upper level winds along the northern Pacific. Look at the direction of those winds. And now look at this here. Completely opposite direction. Our atmosphere has flipped. This is not good. This is not right. But you can tell there's still a big polar vortex trying to shift into the spring months and summer. Watch all this energy shift towards the southern hemisphere. And the southern hemisphere is looking nasty as there is already a large low pressure system spinning around the Antarctic. It's going to be a wild one, folks. Stay aware and prepared down under. Much love. Thanks for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now.